Hi everyone, today let's talk about ground floor. This will be a complete guide to ground floor, and to start I will talk about what exactly ground floor is. Then I will talk about why you should invest with ground floor. Then I will go over the different types of loans that are available right now, just so you can see the different metrics that they provide when choosing individual loans. Then I will talk about exactly how ground floor facilitates their loans from individual investors like myself to the person who's drawing that loan for whatever real estate purpose they are using it for. Then I will compare it to some competitors like REITs. I will also mention some of the guidelines that they use to choose lendees from this platform. Then I want to mention what everyone is concerned about, what happens if borrowers default on the loan. Then I will talk about some reviews of ground floor just to make sure I'm covering all of my bases. And finally, I will finish up with my personal investment portfolio with them right now, as well as the opportunity to buy stock from this company with an internal offering prior to the public offering that will hopefully take place sometime in the future. If you like finance, investing, and making money, definitely like and subscribe. Welcome to the Portfolio Bulletin. Let's get started. So what is Ground Floor? Ground Floor is an investing platform that allows users to invest in real estate investment loans on a fractional basis. These loans are usually around 10%, and the term is anywhere from 6 to 12 months. They say their actualized returns are usually over 10%. However, they have loans between 5 and 25%. To be fair, I've never seen any loans above 12% or below 8%. As I mentioned, terms 6 to 12 months, they're secured by the underlying real estate asset. This investment platform is open to everyone. You don't have to be accredited to use it. They have high underwriting standards and they are confident in their standards to where they actually pre-fund most loan offers. So let's take a look at what some of these loans look like. You can see here, they give you the street address. They say this one is a new construction. They have a 10% rate, 11.2 months. Valuation is 65% of the after renovation value. Payment is deferred, which means the loan will be paid back at the end of the term. They show how many investors are in the note, the total loan amount, how much is remaining to be invested until the total loan is funded. If you click on the loan, it'll give you some more details on the loan specifically. You can see the after finance value is estimated at 388,000. The total loan is 280,000. So they estimate around 108,000 of total after repair value to be made on this property. And the person taking the loan is putting in $28,000 of their own money into this investment, which is listed here as skin in the game. They grade all the factors here. And they say the after repair value is a 4 out of 10. Quality of valuation report, 4 out of 4. Skin in the game is a little bit low. Location, right in the middle. Borrower experience, 5 out of 5. And borrower commitment, 1 out of 1. They say they used a certified independent appraisal in this case which is what gives them that high valuation report. Whereas some borrowers can provide their own pricing, which is likely to be at least a little bit biased. Then they show again the specific location, what the property is going to look like since this is a new build. And then they talk about some miscellaneous factors about the project itself, which in my opinion is quite a bit of detail about the project. So when you invest in Ground Floor, it's very similar to Lending Club or any other peer-to-peer -peer platform. You invest in individual notes, and these notes are then combined into a single loan, which is then given to the loan applicant. Those notes are then combined into what's called an LRO, which is a limited recourse obligation, which is then an investable item with the SEC called a debt security, which ground floor holds the first lien position, which then issues that loan to the applicant. This process of LROs allows you to invest as much or as little in the project as you would like, anywhere from $10 up to the full amount of the loan. Of course, I don't suggest that you invest the total amount of the loan because if you're not deeply familiar with every single project, diversification is going to be your friend. So you may be asking, how is this different than any other REIT that invests in debt and then pays you a percentage? Well, in essence, it's not that different. You're actually creating your own REIT with individual properties and fixed rate investments with limited terms which allows you to manage your own risk. And also the effective rate on these loans is pretty significantly higher than you would get out of a dividend from a company like Realty Income, which is currently yielding around 4.5%. At around 10%, Ground Floor is offering double that, 
Of course, you don't have the benefit of potentially gaining money in terms of share appreciation, but of course you also don't have that risk of the stock price going down, as we have seen across the real estate market over this last year. Going over some of the guidelines here for how they issue their loans, they currently do one to four unit properties in 30 states, new construction in Georgia and North Carolina, loan sizes anywhere between $75,000 and $1 million, terms 6, 9, or 12 months. They do loans for up to 75% after restoration value, no minimum transaction experience required. They do look back for five years of experience. They have a minimum credit score and then a property value of a minimum of 50,000. They also say here that all loans will be full recourse loans with personal guarantees, which is interesting because the debt instrument itself is called a limited recourse obligation. And finally, they say they refinance the loan at the end of the term, because in theory, once the term is complete, it is a normal home and they can just finance it with any normal mortgage with a more standard lender. And this allows the ground floor to keep its terms pretty short and move on from each loan and on to the next for investors. So here's the big question. What happens if a borrower defaults on a loan? They say defaults are not necessarily a bad thing for investors. Each loan does have a term where if the loan is extended, the investor will be paid the additional interest for the extension of the loan. And in some instances, the interest will be increased as a type of penalty for increasing the loan. They say each loan is a first mortgage, first lien loan, meaning they have the right to foreclose on any troubled properties, but they prefer to work with the borrower to help get the project back on track and allow them to repay the loan, thus repaying investors with the original term and any extensions. Then they go on to a little bit of detail in terms of the foreclosure process. And they talk about judicial states versus non-judicial states. And the judicial process is a little bit longer, whereas the non-judicial process allows them to basically come in and foreclose and take the property. I did want to include a little bit of information from some other reviewers. This is the fool.com, which is usually pretty good on their reviews. So let's see what they have to say about it. They go through a lot of the same information in terms of what is ground floor, how it works, is it a good investment, and all the things that I've generally talked about up to this point, but really I just want to hit the pros and cons here. They talk about how it's a low minimum at $10 for investing in each loan, high deal flow. So in my experience, they push out eight loans at a time, and they do this every few weeks. So it's not a huge amount of loans. If you're used to a platform similar to Lending Club, where they have hundreds of loans available at any given time, variety of deal and risk returns, no investor fees. So you receive the full amount from each individual loan, which is pretty cool. You also don't have to be an accredited investor, which is something I mentioned earlier. And you can actually open an IRA with them if you would like to do so. In terms of cons, they say they have a higher default rate as tracked by the Federal Reserve, which you should expect when you see an average percentage of around 10%. And this is where diversification is going to be your friend. You want to spread that money across as many loans as possible to get to that average of just over 10%, which is what they advertise. You also get updates on your loans every 30 days. They say there is no bankruptcy protection here, which is not completely true because these are asset backed. So there is the protection of taking the home and selling it at least at a loss to return some money to investors. There is a little bit of a lack of diversification here because these are generally single family homes or maybe multifamily homes, but you're not investing in commercial real estate or anything beyond what I've shown already. And then there is no equity investing options. These are all loan investments with fixed rates. So moving on to my own investment portfolio right now with ground floor, you can see I have $830 invested and I've invested that across 28 loans. When I first started, I didn't have a ton of money to put into this right away, but as I continue to move money over from Lending Club to Ground Floor, this amount continues to increase as Lending Club has stopped their retail investing platform. So this is basically my replacement for them. And you can see I have an expected rate of just under 10%, and I have an expected earnings here of $66.91. It's not quite at that 10% because some of these loans are less than a full 12 months. So if I just take this money and reinvest it into other notes, I should get that full 10% expected, assuming no defaults. Right now, I'm only investing $30 in each loan to maximize my diversification in a short amount of time. I may increase that amount over time as I have more capital available, but for right now, that's what I'm going with. Another thing to mention here is you can purchase stock in ground floor if you would like. This is an internal offering and you can apply to own shares privately. 
There is no way to sell shares currently, but at some point in the future, ideally, ground floor will IPO, and you should be able to sell these on a secondary market, whether it's an over-the-counter market or it eventually gets listed on the NASDAQ or the New York Stock Exchange where it could be publicly traded. You can also see the, your diversification across the different loans. You see is the most popular here at just over 10%. And I'm not being very picky because I want to maximize my diversification. So I'm basically throwing $30 at every single loan. As I mentioned, they put out notes in batches of eight. So if you want to maximize your diversification, eight loans every few weeks is not very much to invest in, especially when I'm only putting $30 at each one. So I'm maximizing my diversification by just investing in every single one with small amounts, which in theory should protect me against my lack of knowledge in evaluating each individual property and lender, obviously, since I can't meet the borrower. So I'm basically going off of what ground floor can tell me in words, which in my opinion is not a great way to invest. So I'm using diversification as protection. My final mention here from a tax perspective, all of your investments with ground floor will be treated as interest investments. So you will receive a 1099 int at the end of the year and your money will be taxed at a normal income rate as opposed to a public REIT, where if you invest with them as dividend income, which is a little bit lower rate than standard income, as you invest with ground floor. Comment down below what you think of ground floor. What is the role that it has in your portfolio if you're already invested? Or what's holding you back from not investing with ground floor? Definitely like and subscribe if you got any value out of this video. I will continue to make updates about ground floor in my Money Moves videos, which I put out every 1st and 15th as a total portfolio update for passive investors. Of course, this is not financial advice. This is all for entertainment purposes and have a great day.